ladies, thank you so much for being here. Now, Jordan, sometimes people kind of have a hard time caring about things that don't impact them, right? But your stepsister, right. Brianna, right. suffered from sickle cell disease and was only 16 when she passed away. I want you to put a yeah. face to this yeah. disease by sharing what she went through. We weren't stepsisters for very long. I mean, it, it felt like it felt so, it went by so quickly, um, but she was so sweet. And she was a typical 16 year old girl. She loved music and fashion and she wanted to be a model and wow. she wanted to also be the face of um, sickle cell disease. She wanted to be an advocate for it. Uh, after she passed, I, I, I knew that I wanted to continue what she dreamt of doing. That's incredible. Now. A lot of Jews suffer from, Ashkenazi Jews from Gauchet's, what my mom has. African Americans suffer sort of disproportionately. I wanna know why is it so important for our African American viewers watching to know this? Yes. yes. Well, I think it's important because um, one in 12 African Americans uh, carry sickle cell trait. Mm. Uh, most people are unaware because having sickle cell trait, you don't feel anything, you don't right. know unless you have the blood test that reveals it. And it, uh, by having sickle cell trait, you're at risk for having a baby with sickle cell disease. And I, I think, you know, most babies born in our country with sickle cell disease, their parents often aren't aware that they have sickle cell trait. So I think that's really the number one reason why it's so important, particularly in the African American community to know your sickle cell trait status. Talk to your doctor. All right, Jordan, I'm going off script here. I'm gonna say three words, each sure. word. You just tell me the first word and ideas that come to your mind, okay? So the first one is oh my gosh. climate okay. change. Are you ready? <laughs> Hold your hand. Climate change. Climate change. Um, we need to fix it because we can do things about it. That's <laughs> so very yes. good. Very, very good. American Idol, how do you feel? I kind of missed last season. I feel really bad. I know who won, but I, I still missed it. You are starring um, or going back to be on Waitress, which is one of my favorite Broadway plays and, of course, movies. If you were a pie, what pie would you be? <laughs> okay, if I was a pie, I would probably be my mom's. It's going to sound so weird, but she makes this um, pumpkin cream cheese pie oh, every fall. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so it's so good. It's so good. So I would I would probably be that. I'd be my mom's pie, which makes total sense. That's adorable. <laughs> You're your mom's pie. I really want to say thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you so much.